All right, so today I spent some time actually putting things in order, and I have some questions. Uh, there are some observations I made here about I guess what's going on. So let me get some of these out. Um, so these are the American Silver Eagles, and they started in 1986. And one of the things I noticed about these, and I'll come to it in a minute, is they actually, some of them have discolored um, inside the slab. So 89, 90, 91. All right, so for example, right here. So this is being, I guess, it's toning inside the slab, which tells me the slab was not 100% airtight, potentially, and, or maybe they're not in general, but somehow something got in there and caused some sort of reaction. So what does that do to the coin as far as, you know, this is uh, a 70 grade, which is like the best grade, I guess. So is this now no longer, like, what does that do? Is it a big deal? I mean, this coin isn't a very expensive coin to begin with, so... I'm just curious as to what kind of impact um, this sort of effect has on a on a card, a coin that's uh, graded uh, 70. And I've got a few in here. So there's American Eagles. And one of the other questions I had about these is I I think I did it properly, but I at some point I don't know if the flip changed to include like something else. Uh, let's see, do I have this right? So 93, 92, okay. Um, and what I, what I mean by that is at some at, at one point here, these started saying um, uh, first strike on the flip. And so let's, here we go. It sees that there's more of that here. See that black or whatever inside. And that's also a 70 grade. So these are, I think these are all graded 70. Um, and then I'm not sure what year it occurred, but so what, what, 98? So here's another one, right? See that? Uh, 2000, uh, 2002. Um, 2004. Yeah, so not yet. So I learned what the, some of this, nomenclature is a lot of help from people that comment on some of the previous coin videos um i mean i'm not i'm not gonna clean anything i'm not gonna i'm not taking these things to a coin star and dropping them in i mean I'm not <laughs> so um all right so five six seven eight um okay so so in 06, it looks like he got the eagle. He's got the 20th anniversary eagle. It looks like they're exactly the same. No, one's... Oh, this must be... This is cameo, I guess. So, okay. So maybe maybe this is a set. So I think maybe he... 20th anniversary reverse proof. And this was... So this is 2007 silver eagle. So maybe there's some years he decided to get extras, uh, extra variations, I guess. Um, so I want to make sure these are categorized properly. So Silver Eagle, Silver Eagle, Cameo, Cameo. Uh, this as a set, this Ultra Cameo, this early release. So this, I believe, is a box upstairs for. I think I talked about that. So there's like, I think, five different ways to finish these coins or mint these coins. Did it happen yet? But at some point, these become... These become, I think I continue on, on this side, first strike. And maybe does just something change? Um, so 70, uh, 20th, early release. All right, so this is like a kit or another set maybe. These I assume came from like some set. All right, so here we go. So here's like the regular looking slabs. Uh, Silver Eagle, Silver Eagle. And I'm assuming the cam means cameo. But then they continue on and sequential order but at some point they start saying first strike on the top and i don't know if that's like here we go so first strike in 2013 this is the first time i'm seeing this so i don't know if there's like a non-first strike version of this coin or if or if by default this is what they became starting in 2013 here's a west point eagle eagle so these are 
these are from box sets, I have to imagine. Um, and I kind of just, you know, put them in order by year. Oops. There were some comments about, I think some of these coins, uh, I think a majority of these are just of modest value, but I think there's a couple in here that I, I got to go back and look at some of those notes, but um, have a little more significant value to them. So it looks like this was a set. Um, I think going forward, I think these, the rest of these are going to be first strikes. All right. No, this is the West. Oh, yeah, so here's first strike. 13, 13, enhanced mint, reverse proof, enhanced mint, reverse proof. It looks like two of each. So here's first strike. So, okay. So here's a Silver Eagle from 2014 that just looks like it's a basic version. And this one says first strike. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Um, and, and at some point, there's like, there's one year gap. I think he missed. Uh, so here's 2015 first strike. Here's a Miles Standish, whatever the hell this is. West Point. Oh, and it has an odd sort of upside down flip. All right, so 2015 first strike. Sort of a stranger flip. Um, 2016. Here's 2016. So Silver Eagle. Lettered Edge First Strike, and these are West Point Mint. It says 2016-W, but then it has 2019 in parentheses. So I don't know if it's the coin is from 2016, but it's this is when it was slabbed in 2019. Is that what that means? And I have another one here that's 2017, but slabbed, well, 2017 and then 2020. And then First Strike, or First Day of Issue. Basically, what I do is I started from 2000 or 1996, and I went all the way up to whatever. And I, um, I, I'm, and I separate. So these are all the eagles, and then I think continue on here. Yeah. So at this point, I think they're all first strikes now. 2018, 2018. Um, Burnished, and this is Cameo, I guess. Burnished versus Cameo. Uh, cameo. I didn't get a chance to... My father passed away um, uh, last week. Um, and so that's why, I mean, we knew, obviously we knew it was coming. And, uh, you know, why, why a month ago he decided to uh, bequeath uh, this collection to me. Um, and I didn't really get around to digging into it, you know, until, I mean, you know, I live a few hours away from my dad and, um, I guess I just didn't get a chance to do what I'm doing now. Basically these types of questions, he probably could have answered very easily enough and, and why he got what he did. There's one year he was missing. I forget what, I think like 20, uh, I forget now. Um, so first strike, first day of issue. First strike, first strike. So I, I'm not aside from the coins that that clearly are from like a, a box set, and, and again there are some empty boxes. Uh, I think he bought the set graded, and they include the box, the empty box to go with it. Um, aside from those that are sort of their own unique item, I'm not sure if there's like a if I got a, another set embedded in here of like American Eagles, and do I have them all? Um, 20, 21, Cam. These look exactly the same. T no, type one and type two. Okay, so there's that. Type two. And I'm just assuming the CAM means cameo. Um, 22. I separated out. He actually managed to squeak in a 2024 coin in here. Um, so 2023. So one of the things was the questions was that okay. So initially it was just like this label, and then at some point it seems like they're all first strikes. So I don't know if he neglected to buy like the basic version, and this is one variation of of the eagle. Um, oh, this is actually a Morgan dollar. All right. So let me just 
fix this. So the Eagle, Eagle. 20, so this is 2024. He actually got one from this year. Um, yeah. 2023. Why is this? Why, this should go here. 2023. Okay, so, and then the other ones are, are going to be Morgan Dollars um, that I have here. And he did a little bit of these. And some of these are, are Peace Dollars, too, I guess. Peace. We looked at these already. So these are Kennedy's. Uh, 2023, that's Kennedy. Uh, 100th anniversary, Morgan Dollar. 100th anniversary, Morgan Dollar. And so there's 2021, and there's 2021 S, which I guess means San Francisco Mint. Um, I'm not sure, there's no designation there. 2021 Peace Dollar, 100th anniversary. Uh, so. Still learning, and uh, I'm not selling. I'm keeping, and not only am I keeping, I'm adding to it. In fact, I've got some coins on order. So how about that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I think what I want to do is, you know, get some more 2024 coins to kind of finish out. Uh, you know, this year I have a, um, I ordered the two uh, piece Morgan reverse proof two coin set on the U.S. Mint website. Um, I actually created a subscription to that, but I mean, I can always cancel next year if I don't want the next year's version. But, um, and I ordered a few oddball coins, just kind of loose coins. Um, I'm not going to become, I'm not going to become, I guess, what they call a stacker. You're stacking silver. Um, <laughs> that's not going to be me. But I'll, uh, I'll continue, continue to curate this and, um, you know, I think keep it in the family. Um, I mean, these are the more recent ads from him. And honestly, I had no idea he was into this, um, the graded side of things. I always knew he had coins, but I didn't realize he was buying them uh, regularly on, you know, home shopping or whatever. Um, piece silver dollar, two coin reverse proof set, piece dollar. Um, so one of the first things I want to do is try to get some sort of uh, organization. You know, I started with... Uh, 1986, and so went up to, you know, in order to 2024. And really the big question for me too was the fact that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, some of these have toning inside the slab, which, don't any of these have it? I don't think so. But the ones that I showed, what does that do? What does that mean? I mean, is it, does it have any impact whatsoever? I imagine if someone was wanting to buy an MS70 coin, which is like the perfect grade, like a PSA 10 or CGC 9.8 comic book, they wouldn't want to see that, right? And so therefore the price uh, that you would command would be much less than a, uh, I guess, blemish-free coin. But uh, certainly appreciate all the, all the help and responses I've been getting. And I am very entertained by the, um, <laughs> by a lot of the other comments and things that I've been getting regarding the coins. Um, so more to come in the coin space. Talk to you later.